this is Painted Lady Caterpillars, day 21. We received our caterpillars back in January and now we have had them for 21 days. About the 15th day they started making cocoons. We ordered these caterpillars from InsectLore.com and InsectLore told us that they thought they should make cocoons on the 7th day. Um, but ours didn't, but they did eventually make cocoons. And so we can't go really by the timeline in our caterpillar quick guide, but we do believe they will still make butterflies. In our cup today, we've had a little craziness. I'll show you up close. We have two caterpillars that made their cocoons on the top. The rest, actually two of the other ones did make their cocoons on the top. Then the cocoons fell to the bottom, um, and I'm not exactly sure why. And one actually cocooned on the bottom, so I don't really know what our results are going to be. I've done this 11 other years, and I've never had any caterpillars fall to the bottom of the cup like that. So we're about to move them into their home where they will come out of their cocoons. Before we do, we would like to read you another fact from Butterflies and Caterpillars, Scholastic True or False. We'll come over here. And it will read, butterflies are nearly invisible. True or false? What do you think? Some butterflies are nearly invisible. This says, true. Some butterflies just blend into their surroundings. This ability is called camouflage. A few kinds of butterflies look like dead leaves. Some resemble the gray bark on trees or have wings that are bright on top and dull underneath. When in danger, they land on twigs or leaves and fold up their wings. And then there's the picture of a camouflaged butterfly. You can barely see it on that bark of that tree. Some butterflies have see-through wings with very few scales, which make them nearly invisible. So they can either be colored like the object they like to land on, or some of them actually are almost see-through, making them seem invisible. Now I'm going to move this a little closer. Like I said, I've never had any caterpillars fall off the top of the cup like that. I'll show you what insect lore recommends and then we'll just try to figure out the other part. When we open this cup, let me set it down to open it. They do wiggle all around, but they're, they are usually pretty firmly stuck on the lid. And they're not actually on the lid, they're actually on a piece of paper that's attached to the lid and you can see here that they're on that piece of paper that's attached to the lid and so usually you would peel that paper off and put it in something like this and um, get me that green box it's over there where they were and the newer kits, um, this is the first one I've gotten like this, come with a box like this. And they want you to set the whole lid kind of propped up in this box that they give you. They call it their chrysalis station. And then put them in so that they'll still be in a hanging formation even though they stay attached to the lid. And then this live butterfly pavilion is what they call this um actually you can order this from insect lore i've had this one for 11 years and just reuse it every year it does get a little stained because the butterflies drip their coloring as they dry um, but you can clean it reuse it again the next year i'm not exactly sure the best method to move these cocoons so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to touch one with my hand and put it in the bottom there and then the other two I may just leave in the cup which I don't know that that's what's best for them but I'm not sure what is best for them so I'll take that one that just kind of scooted and be as gently as I possibly can because you really should not be touching the chrysalis at all with your hand and I'll try putting it and uh, maybe here on this chrysalis station and then these 